While the puberty jury is out, it is my duty to raise two white men. And I can't wait for a gender verdict before I instill decency in them. It's too late by then. Entitlement lurks at every turn seeking to plant its prints on my sons as accessories to its ancient and systematised crimes. Though my boys may not directly be hostile, entitlement blinds to evil's witness and insists on preference despite any evidence. When surrounded by 12 of their peers, my boys will always have the upper hand with their ivory towers and their skin-tight alabaster shields. I must teach them to seek counsel of every creed, colour and kind because no single perspective can speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God, exhausting as it may be, my defences cannot rest until my boys understand that the gavel of privilege they wield is designed to execute justice, or else it's just another hammer pummeling the oppressed. I must teach them to approach the bench of diversity with kindness in their souls and compassion in their hearts, to say thank you and please, no matter what they see. This is the platform where I take the stand for feminism. That is my conviction. With care and concern, my sons, hear my objection to treating yourself and defeating others because society will always allow you to judge. But that doesn't mean you'll be found not guilty. I rest my case.